All right, we're uh, going to start, so please take a seat and welcome. So, welcome to K, welcome to the Circrise booth that we're sharing with Domo, and welcome to the Circrise launch presentation. Woo! <laughs> All right, so we're very happy to announce our newest product called Mass Balancer. It's, as the name suggests, very creatively, it's a mass balance tool. And we're going to talk to you in like five or 10 minutes and then have some Q&A. So that's it, very informal. What's the mission of Circle Rise? So when we started six years ago, we started on a mission to enable global supply chains to do traceability in a very robust and trustworthy way to enable a circular economy. If there is one thing in CircleRise that didn't change is this, right? We always had the same mission. Like everything else probably changed a couple times, but the mission always stayed the same. And this has also been reflected in the years after we started the company in regulation, where there's a lot of focus on more transparency, more traceability to enable sustainable and circular practices. You can see this with things like digital product passports, where we're trying to now put more information in everyday products to understand where they come from, but also how they can be repurposed and recycled better at the end of life. Not only regulation, but also from consumers and NGOs, there is more and more demand to understand where products come from, how they're made, and ultimately what the environmental impact is. And to use this information for the better. So if you have a supply chain that doesn't talk, if there's no data, that really cannot enable circular economy activity. So it's a prerequisite. It's one of the building stones of a future circular economy. At the same time, we see brands and OEMs creating these very ambitious statements around their targets on CO2 emissions, as well as their um, uh, use of recycled and bio-based materials. But this is really hard to substantiate and really hard to understand exactly where uh, materials come from, because believe it or not, over 60% of procurement leaders have no visibility beyond their first year of suppliers. They don't really know who their supplier supplier is. And if they do, like I, we know a few really big companies making statements about all their products being recycled aluminium and what have you, you know, the way they do this is by emails, right? They hire a bunch of people, sometimes hundreds and hundreds of them, if you have enough power, to just send emails and spreadsheets in the supply chain. And that's how you get to know what's happening in the supply chain. And not only is this super expensive, time consuming, but it's also prone to mistakes and error. And in a nutshell, a passport, a digital product passport, will allow companies to attach information to a physical object and let that information be carried through a supply chain alongside the physical object. So at the end of life, we know all that information. There's no need to go back and send emails to your suppliers. And depending on who you are and depending on the market, this can bring all kinds of different value propositions, right? Like carbon emission tracking, feeding LCA models, uh, but also compliance, regulatory affairs, and what have you. And above all, especially for first movers, this enables a premium on responsible source materials. And if you do a deep dive into a digital product passport, then you look at exactly the data points that we want there. What you figure out is that each data point, you, it's a whole world on its own, right? Every data point will have its own methodology, its own framework, and its own way of getting that data in the passport. And for those who are aware of more the chain of custody models, like mass balancing, you have the identity preservation, you got segregation, credit, balance, credit transfers, each data point will come with its own chain of custody model, right? So if you focus, for example, recycle the bio-based content, we see a huge uptake in IECC plus certification on mass balancing. So in the passport, if recycled and bio-based content, which is spelled wrong here, is IACC certified mass balancing, for example, that doesn't mean everything in a passport is mass balanced. Like you cannot do hazardous substances is mass balanced. Like that doesn't make sense. 
right? So each data point in a password will come with its own framework and its own chain of custody model. And that's essentially exactly what Mass Balances is focusing on. So about six months ago, we did a project that we initiated together with uh, some of these partners that are listed on the screen to understand how we can make that translation from this full DPP digital product passport vision to specifically focusing on what we call sourcing compositions. Like what's the, the composition of the source of the material, whether it's like bio or recycled and, and all the details that you can attach there. And what we found out is that in this supply chain, there's a huge uptake in ICC. And these numbers are like old numbers that are probably like towards 10,000 already uh, of certified companies. But if you look at the system and really do a deep dive, you see two main artifacts, right? There is the sustainability declaration, which is essentially a paper document of transfer of goods, like right? it says there's a supplier, there's a recipient, and there's a product with a weight essentially and its characteristics that you transfer the credits from to another company. And then there is the Excel sheets, the famous Excel sheets that companies use to keep their balances and essentially understand how much they've bought and how much they've sold and whether the balances are correct. Hence the name mass balance. And the current process to from starting decision, okay, we want to get IECC certified guys, to getting that certification and starting being an operational is roughly the follows. Like you have system documents, 400 plus pages in total, and you then need to interpret that, understand that, and start creating a custom Excel-based workflow for yourself. We're not saying this doesn't work because there are thousands of companies getting certified. It's just not scalable, right? This is not something you can do for global operations. You can do it maybe for a few products or a few pilots here and there, but you can't really scale it without introducing a huge amount of complexity and error. And this is essentially where we took our product and translated it into what we call mass balancer for ICC+. It doesn't mean we're only supporting ICC+, because just as you have 400 pages on ICC, you have the same amount of pages for RSV, for all the other mass balance certification schemes out there. And the intention of us is to have all of these over time into our platform so companies can choose whichever mass balance certification they want and get an easy approach towards setting up a scalable system that does not rely on Excel sheets. So with that, I'm going to hand it over to Pierre and he's going to talk to you and show you a little bit of, around uh, in mass balancer. Thank you, Mesba. Um, so with the following, we really want to show you the main features of, of our tool, Mass Balancer, and how it compares to the current way of doing things, uh, which is, as Mesba explained, based on PDFs and on Excel sheets. Could you uh, put the mic a bit closer? It's not everything that the tool does, but it's the main value of the tool as we see it currently. Um, so the first point we feature we want to talk about is the manual booking of sustainability declaration. So you are receiving a sustainability declaration from your suppliers. Uh, what happens? In the current way, you receive an email from your supplier with a PDF attached. You then have to take the information of that PDF and put it in your complex, often very complex, Excel sheet. Um, this is obviously quite error prone, but it's, it works. Like Mesba said, a lot of companies currently do it. Um, in Mass Balancer, if your supplier is not part of the Securitas platform, meaning they are not a user, then the first part is very similar. You receive an email with the PDF. But then instead of going into a complex Excel sheet, you just have a simple form to fill out with the main information and you can attach any kind of document to it. So for example, if you want to attach the full sustainability declaration or the associated purchase order, uh, you can do it. And having done both process manually ourselves, we estimate that that's a, around 40% time reduction, not to mention less errors. But there's actually a third way, which is if your supplier is on the Securitize platform. And in that case, your supplier sends you the credit on Securitas platform and 
you actually have nothing to do. It's there, it's in your inventory, you have no work to do. So we call it a 100% time reduction. Um, so that's when you receive credits, but what happens if you want to send some? Um, so if you want to send some manually, the process looks quite similar because you're in the shoes of the supplier now. And you first transform your credits from whatever you had received to whatever you want to send. Uh, obviously, that's if you have transformations to do. Some uh, companies are uh, mainly traders and don't have transformations to do. And then you create the Sesame Declaration PDF, so you fill out each field manually. Um, and finally, send it by email. With Mass Balancer, the first step is transforming credits. That can be done very easily with pre-saved recipes on the platform. And then second step is very easy. Just choose who you want to send it to, hit send, and the PDF will be created with all, all the right information, which is already saved. Uh, if your customer is on the Cyclewise platform, they will receive the credits very easily, such as you did. And if not, you have the PDF that you can e easily send by email. Um, so in that case, we estimate the time reduction by 50%. Um, and also, you have a lot, of, lot less errors. Um, finally, there's the whole reporting part, which really varies by organization. Some organizations have very well set up Excel sheet that do reporting automatically. Others have to go back to the Excel sheet and compile it uh, themselves. So the time really varies. But on Cyclarize platform, on Mass Balancer, it's just a click of a button. Choose the dates for which you want to report. Click Create Report, and you have a PDF which sums up everything you did in that period. So it's very easy. And that's only the beginning. It's our launch. We have a lot of future automation we want to bring to the platform. Um, so we're really excited to what, how much we can automate this process further. Uh, and make it less error prone and um, more time efficient for everyone. Um, so now we have a video we want to show you about uh, mass balancing and our pilot. Uh, hopefully it will work. Uh, I'm not sure about the sound, but we'll see. Our planet is under pressure due to increasing consumerism and a linear economy There's that subtitles. some take, make, dispose. Climate change and resource shortages are soaring. The answer is moving to a circular economy. Together with these pioneering companies, we are driving change towards circularity. But how? Mass balance. Mass balance is a solution to facilitate the shift to gradually replace fossil materials with sustainable alternatives. This is how it works. The mass balance approach allows for the physical mixing of fossil and sustainable materials while keeping track of the exact quantities. Although the actual quantity of sustainable molecules in a single product cannot be guaranteed, mass balance makes sure that the quantity of overall sustainable materials is directly reflected in the number of end products labeled as sustainable. In this innovative project, Circularize and partner companies worked with the certification scheme ISCC. Let's take a closer look at this example. Using Circularize's traceability software, partners could digitize sustainable materials and certificates and track sustainability credits along the entire value chain. Circularize's software helps companies to automate their bookkeeping process for ISCC Plus certification. Companies can easily book, allocate, and send sustainability credits. They can generate sustainability declarations in their platforms, automatically create quarterly reports, and link to other actors in the value chain. Consumers, on the other hand, can access sustainability data and certifications of the products they buy. With Circularize, they can trust sustainability claims of their favorite brands. Circularity is fundamentally a collective action. With the mass balance approach, we can inspire more companies to shift to sustainable materials and embrace circularity at scale. Do you want to make a real difference? Join us. Visit our website to explore more.
Thank you very much. Uh, we're very excited for this product and what we can do to make the world uh, more circular. Uh, we're now moving to the Q&A section, so if you have any questions, we'll be very happy to answer those. Any questions? Any questions? Yes, so the question is, we talked about getting materials in and we talked about getting materials out to customers, but what in between, right? So in between, maybe we brushed over it a little too fast, but you saw whenever we want to send something to a customer, the first step is allocating the feedstock to the right output, right? So if it's an initial uh, trans transformation, like feedstock to output, we have recipes in the system that you can preset, right? You can say, this is my input, this is my output, this is my conversion factor. And essentially with a click, it will automatically transform it. Over time, we want to bring more automation to this. Like if you have more sophisticated recipes that cross boundaries of multiple sites, to have that automated as well. But for now, it's just like a single automation step that we can elaborate on further. Any other questions? Yeah, so the question is, this is all nice and, and, and great, but how much time and effort do I put into this to re really make it uh, a reality, right? So if you go from zero to one, essentially you're not certified that you want to get certified, one of the things that you need to prove to an auditor is that you understand the framework and that you have a system in place that can deal with it, right? So understanding it, it's something you still need to do. Like you still need to understand what it is that you are and you're not allowed to do. However, a lot of the details, like are you allowed to send credits from one side to another if the two sites are not neighboring countries? The answer is no. But if they are neighboring countries, the answer is yes. So some of the understanding we can build into our system so you don't have to like, you cannot make mistakes there, right? So some of the logic we can take over and build it into the system, meaning that that part, including the setting up your infrastructure to show to an auditor that you're certified, you can accelerate. Um, and what we see com currently companies, depending on where you are and the availability of the auditor, et cetera, can be like three to six months. With this, we estimate that to be a lot faster, right? Because just the whole journey of setting everything up is already preset and you can take that over as essentially, you don't have to start from a blank Excel sheet. Right? Any other questions? All right, well, if there's no questions, thank you for your attention and uh, we'll hope to uh, see you soon in the drinks uh, afterwards. Thank you. Thank you.